It's been a perfect run through district play for the Liberty of Lady Panthers. They went 12-0. They have now won 34 consecutive matches in district play. But you know what? That doesn't matter anymore because it's playoff time and it's one and done as the Liberty of Lady Panthers launch the 2018 playoff season here on KMAX Sports. Good evening, everybody. I'm KMAX Sports President Chet Licata. And, of course, I'd like to think that I'm tied into the Liberty of Lady Panthers uh, history books, if you will, as the voice of the Lady Panthers for a good amount of years as we welcome you to Marble Falls High School here in the Hill Country of Central Texas. Joining me tonight, Mr. Mitchell Paget, MVP, our QA tonight. Thanks to Mitchell for helping us out. And as mentioned, Liberty Hill, as you can see on the graphic on your screen, seven consecutive district championships. Eight of the last ten district titles have been won by Liberty Hill and three state appearances in the last four years. So without further ado, let's get you to Coach Peterson and her thoughts about the start of the 2018 playoff season tonight against the Fredericksburg battling Lady Billies. Welcome back to pregame. Chuck Licata with head coach Gretchen Peterson. And Okay, I have to admit, I have a confession to make. <laughs> I said on the postgame last time that, are you ready to have fun? Now the playoffs are starting. You said, well, we have fun during the season, too, and that's true. That's very true. So my apologies because we do have fun during the season. All good. It's always, <laughs> like you said, different kind of fun, different focus. Different vibe, but it's still, I mean, we're getting to do the greatest thing ever. So, can't Well, go. as we talked about, you know, we talked about in the pregame last week, we talked about, you know, seven straight, eight out of the last ten district titles, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You built an incredible program where playoffs are almost expected and a long run is expected. What I think sometimes gets lost, and, and I admit this too because I've called a couple Aldine ISD uh, volleyball matches, and the teams aren't quite as good as, you know, what I normally see. And the girls are out there for fun. So sometimes I kind of forget, hey, you know, this is also fun. But when it comes to playoffs, sometimes I forget, oh, my God, if they lose, we're done. Yeah. Do you ever think about that? Do you dress that with the girls? Well, I didn't until you brought it up right now. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. Um, no, I mean, okay, I'll go now. Bye. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that's an unwritten thing. I mean, I think they understand. Um, going into district, we talked about we need to play now like it's November. So when November comes here, we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. So we're a little bit short of November, but it's close enough. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, I think it, it is that that's what makes the, the playoffs so fun. It's motivating. It, um, I think it, it drives. It brings another intensity. It brings another kind of level to our focus. And, um you know, it's it's a it's a good thing. I think it's a good motivating motivating tool. Um, you can't let it consume you. You can't let it become bigger than what it is. It's still the same game. You're still the same team. Um, so we do address those things. Um, and but we don't have to to focus on that part as much because um, <laughs> you don't want them. Focusing we don't want to. Right? We want them to go out and play play confident and play loose and play relaxed and right. and maybe it's a little bit different focus and maybe we're going to make adjustments here or there but really we don't want to make it bigger than what it really is um, mm -hmm. because it, it doesn't need to be we need to go out and take care of business we can only be the best liberty hill team we can't we don't need to be anybody else we can't be anybody else so we need right. to be the best liberty hill team that we can be and of course fredericksburg i mean oh my god you talk about history between the two uh schools in volleyball i mean of course you know uh uh, oh, oh gosh, Raymer! Raymer, thank Why you, Jason. So mad at you. Jason, that's okay. No, I was trying to think of his nickname. What do we call him? Uh, it was Batman's arch rival, whatever it was, whatever it was. Um, he, you know, that guy. yeah, that guy. <laughs> and uh, uh, and of course, you know, I can still see it as plain as day down at Northside ISD uh, gym when we had to play Fredericksburg in that great five set match that got us uh, to the regional final against Sealy. And of course, we beat Sealy to go to state. Uh, Fredericksburg, I mean, you just have to look across the court and it's like, wow, this, this, there's some history here. No, and I think it's a great, it is a rivalry, which is weird because we're like an hour and a half apart and we only <laughs> play each other, you know, once in a while. So it's good to kind of be reunited with them because it always is such good volleyball. And it's, I think we have the similar kids. I think our kids play the same way. I think they play with that same kind of heart and determination. And, um, you know, I just, it's good. It's good volleyball. It's good for our kids. It's good for their kids. It's good to watch. And it's, um, it is. It's a cool thing. As long as I've been at Liberty Hill, Fredericksburg had always been on our, our schedule, and then they became a district rival, and then they became a, a region rival. And, um, 
you know, I'd known Jason forever. Our moms knew each other growing up. So it was just cool. <laughs> so that's still there. Jason's not, and we wish him the best of luck. I think they played a night as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's it's just a cool thing that I think he worked really hard to build Fredericksburg into this program, and I think Casey has done a great job with carrying it on. And, and so it's just great to see us kind of be able to thrive in our own rights. So it's cool. Lex Luthor. That's the name I was trying the to think of. Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What did I say, Batman? Batman. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he'd be the Joker for what's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he'll be glad to hear that, too. Um, so how, I mean, what's the address you're going to give the girls tonight? Specifically, I mean, we've talked kind of in general about the program. Specifically tonight, this squad, how do you address them tonight going in? You know, we, we talked a lot about how, um, you know, we, we've scouted, we've watched, we're prepared. There's no reason to be nervous. That's what practices were for. That's what district was for. That's what those warm matches were for. And when you feel prepared, there is no pressure. So there's no pressure. You just got to go out there and play, you know, um, and you have each other. And we're going to win this together. And so there's not one miscommunication or one misserve or one hit that's going to cost us a game. So don't make it a thing. You know, um, just stay focused, keep your composure, play with confidence. Um, you know, we're going to make adjustments as we go because that's what we're going to have to do. And, and, and so it's Fredericksburg and it's going to be good volleyball, um, you know, and, and we need to stick true to who we are, uh, not let our, our confidence and our composure is going to be key. Serve receive will be big, but it's going to be big for forever now. You know, mm -hmm. whoever we play. Um, and they're ready. That's the thing that we, we've been really telling you. You're ready. This is it. This is what we started August 1st for. All that other stuff was just training you to get ready. You know, right. and those other accolades and those other things, those are great and those are fun. But here's when we get to kind of put it all into action. And I think that's an exciting idea for them. And they've bought into that. And, um, you know, I, there's going to be butterflies and there's going to be nerves. And that's normal. That's okay. <laughs> you don't need to try to act like you've been here a million times before. Be you. Play the way that we're supposed to play. Um, I'm excited. I think the girls are, are ready. I think it's going to be a tough match. Fredericksburg is a good team. Um, and so, you know, it, it may not be in three, and that's okay. You know, they wins or wins no matter where you go. And so right. we just need to leave here tonight with a W, and then we'll go back to the drawing board and, and go to work from there. Quick question before I let you go. It's been about a uh, couple years since you played what was your, do you remember your mentality as a player getting ready for the playoffs? You know, I think what was cool is that it was sort of similar to um, what these girls get to have. You know, I, I think when Nigren got there, I was in first grade. So, <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I think she was, she's going to love that. But I think I was in first grade. And I remember about my fourth or fifth grade year, that's when it all clicked. And mm. we were in the regional tournament. We were in the state tournament. And so I remember going and watching. So I sort of remember, as stupid as it sounds, when I got into high school, I'm being like, well, yeah, this is where we're supposed to be. Right. Because I had watched these amazing players that I looked up to and idolized and watched Coach Nygren and learned from her. So, like, it was sort of this thing, like, yeah, you're supposed to be at the state tournament. No, duh. You're supposed to be at regionals. <laughs> no, duh. You know? And so I don't remember being nervous. I don't mean that because I was, like, that good. Right. I just think I was too stupid to know any better. <laughs> um, and... Um, that's okay because it worked you know right. I think we were too young and we were too dumb to know that we were supposed to be nervous we just thought this is what you do right. and in a way not that we take advantage uh, or we're taking advantage or, or taking for granted right. that we're always in the playoffs we're very blessed to be here and we do not s stick our nose up in the air at that for any reason no. but at some degree I think that does kind of click for these girls like I can do this because it's not just me. It's all these girls that are beside me. It's the girls that came before. I've seen this. I'm okay. They did it. I can do it. We're going to be okay. And I think that helps. Again, you still got to show up and play. You know, nothing is given to you just because what color your uniform is. But um, I do think that has a little bit of a factor. And some of these girls are young. I mean, they don't know any different. Right. They, you know, they're too dumb to know. <laughs> not that they're dumb. But, yeah. uh, so, you know, I think that it's, a, it's a multitude of factors there. Well, besides the fact that Tanya and Raymer are never going to talk to us again, I good know, luck tonight. I insulted everybody. Who else can we make mad? Okay. Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> Thank All you. Right. We'll talk to you after the match. All right. Thanks, Chuck. All right. Bye-bye. All right. We'll bring you back live to the Marble Falls gym and give you the PA announcer here. Again, Mitchell, Pat, our, Mitchell Padgett, our QA. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. If I could have everyone please stand for the butt C of our national anthem by Mr. Morgan Arms, seventh grader. Woo! 
Pretty good for a seventh grader, huh? So there you have it. We get ready for my district action. Liberty Hill in the purple uniforms with the gold trim, the gold numbers. Except for Mackenzie Wukash, who was the libero wearing the white jersey with the purple numbers. Fredericksburg in the black shorts with the white tops and the red numbers. The Battling Billies, as we mentioned in the pregame with Coach. Good history between these two teams. This will not be an easy match for either team tonight. Fredericksburg comes in with a 17 and 15 overall record. Liberty Hill at 29 and 15. And as you can see on the graphic in front of you, Liberty Hill with a great winning tradition since 2009. In fact, in 2009 was Liberty Hill Volleyball's first ever district championship. 
So we talk about the fact they've won eight of the last ten and seven in a row. That is the number that they have in their history. Out on the court, Liberty Hill going to go left to right, Fredericksburg right to left. On the court for the Lady Panthers on the left side is Parsons, Ashley Nelson, Lily Wilkins, number 12 in the back row, Emily Huppy, Kinsey, Escamilla, and Allison Van Claveren in the front row. And it'll be Parsons to serve. Again, Liberty will go left to right. Fredericksburg going right to left. And we get ready to go underway. By, dist or by district playoff action underway. Fredericksburg on the offense. Hit right side was a roll shot that falls in. Wow. Easy kill there for Megan Merriman, number six. And it's 1-0 Fredericksburg. Back to serve. Fredericksburg is Molly Plenicky. Liberty Hill on the attack. Right side block. Nelson saves it. And they're going to call a net violation on Liberty Hill. So Fredericksburg up 2-0 early. Again, we play best three of five. Thanks again to MVP, Mitchell Padgett, our QA, for making sure we're on the air. That one will be at service errors. That goes wide left. And Liberty Hill gets on the board here in the playoffs. Back to serve for Lady Panthers, the libero McKenzie Wukash. Two to one the score, Wukash. Roll shot almost, they got over the net. Left side swing, tip shot. Nice dig by Huppy. Right side hit by Escamilla, dug out in the back row of Fredericksburg, they go attack left side. That's Rose Stewie, and she gets the kill. And Fredericksburg up three to one early. Again, set number one underway. Checking in for Fredericksburg there. Libero, Calissa Valmar, a senior. Back to serve, Jackie Spees, a junior. Sends it on the line. Back row, who casts the pass up front. Set on the hunt, left side. Wilkins with the shot. That's going to be a joust. And Liberty Hill's going to get the point as Fredericksburg up for the joust. Somebody hit the net. Makes it now 3-2. to two. Emily Huppy. The junior back to serve. Service on the line. Nice serve. Fredericksburg will send over the free ball. Dug out by Parsons in the back row. And Liberty Hill, Wilkins sends over the free ball. Ooh, problem on the hit. Attack left side, and that one for a kill. Good adjustment by Rose Stewie up front. Her second kill. And Fredericksburg goes up 4-2. to two. Back to serve is Megan Merriman for the Battle and Billies. Jump serve. Dug out by Mia Hernandez who's checked in. Nelson with the tip shot dug out. And miss hit by Fredericksburg gives Liberty Hill the point. That's four to three. Liberty Hill looking a little out of sorts, just kind of finding their way. Checking in front line, Claire Kubish. Checks in for Parsons as Emily Allred goes back to serve for the Lady Panthers. She takes over as the setter. Nice serve, cross court, left side. Quick set in the middle. And that one hit through the Liberty Hill defense. Megan Ginwright with a kill. That's the fourth kill for Fredericksburg as a team. Liberty Hill looking for their first kill. Back to serve, Rose Stewie, a junior for Fredericksburg. Head coach Maribel Delgado, or I'm sorry, K Casey Ritterman as the overpass by Liberty Hill and Molly Plenicky slams it home. Score now 6-3. to three. And Stewie back to serve. Jim got real quiet. <laughs> Pass up front, Wukash. The swing left side and it's out. Wilkins trying to hit the sideline. No, I'm sorry, that's Kubish who tried to hit the sideline. Unforced error. Fredericksburg up 7-3 in set one. Mia Hernandez on the serve receive. All red sets it. And that one lands in. Cross court kill for Kubish. Liberty Hill finally gets some offense. Now 7-4, set one. Jump the cut of here. Mitchell Padgett, MVP back in the KMAC studios as... Lily Wilkins goes back to serve. Service. Pass up front. Overpass. And dumped in front by Kubish. No, it was uh, 
Van Claveren with the kill. And Liberty Hill back within two, seven to five. Oh, they called net? They must have called net. It's now eight to four. My apologies. Eight to four. They called net on Liberty Hill. Service by Carly Neb Nebgen, or Nebgen rather, lands in for an ace. And Liberty Hill looking all kinds of out of sorts. I know Gretchen Peterson, she's not going to let this go much longer. Fredericksburg up 9-4 in set number one. Service by Nebgen again. Allred sets it, attack on the slide. Nelson and the block up front, the 5-11 block combo. And there's the timeout we were expecting from Coach Gretchen Peterson. As you can see on the left side of your screen, Liberty Hill Volleyball would like to thank all the great sponsors of Liberty Hill Volleyball. Liberty Civil Construction. Liberty Civil Construction, a leading construction company specializing in single family infrastructure. We're locally owned and serve the greatest off and serve the greater Austin area. Proud supporters of Liberty Hill Volleyball, go Lady Panthers. Also Big Daddy LLC, Ortho 360, First Choice Inspection Services, Two Brandit. And David A. Slaughter, DDS, we ask that you please patronize the sponsors who help bring you this broadcast on KMAX Sports. KMAX Sports is going to be 15 years old on March 24th of next year. Been broadcasting Liberty Hill Panthers events and sports since 2007. Now the Liberty Hill timeout. Colleen Nebgen. A junior to serve again. Service. Dug out. Nelson. Quick set in the middle. Kubish. Cross court kill. Her second. It's a good point out of the timeout. Liberty Hill trailing 10 to 5. Back to serve is Ashley Nelson. Service by Nelson. Overpass. And ends up on the Liberty Hill side. Wow. Two players from Liberty Hill went up and nobody hit the ball. Golden opportunity there wasted by the Lady Panthers. This is 11 to 5. Serving the libero for Fredericksburg, Calissa Volmar. Serves it to the back row. Nelson on the server seat. All red. Nelson back row return. Dug out by Nebgen. Attack left side. Dug out by Nelson. Swing left side. Emily Huppy for the kill. Makes it 11 to 6. Checking back in the freshman setter, Emma Parsons. Email open, Chuck, C H U C K at K M A C sports.com. Chuck at KMAX sports.com if you want to write in and say hello on the broadcast. Meantime, problem in the server seat. Fredericksburg, that's going to be out. Trying to hit the free ball was Merriman, and she hit it out. Point Liberty Hill. It's now 11 7. Jump server for Parsons. Passed up front. Tip shot on the dump. Nelson sets it left side. Tip shot up front. Joust up front and powered home by Van Cleveren. Her second kill. Liberty Hill within three at 11-8. Panthers look a little bit more settled after the timeout. Parsons with the serve. Joined in the back row by... Lukash and Nelson. Wow, tack on the slide. That one tipped off the tape. Good job by Liberty Hill, and they're going to call a double. Van Claveren called for the double as she had trouble handling that pass up front. Not her fault, though. 12 to 8. Unforced error for Liberty Hill. Service over by Molly Plenicky. Oh, wait a minute. And Fredericksburg is going to take a timeout. Had issue with the substitution. Actually, no, that apparently they had a uh, issue with the uniform of number eight, Larkin Penn. So we'll take a timeout as well. Lady Panthers volleyball, playoff style on the KMAX Sports Vibe Media Network. This is the KMAX Sports Network. 
from West Texas all the way to the Bayou and all points in between. I saw miles and miles of Texas. All the this is the KMAC the Sports Texas Network, bringing your teams to you. Bright Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B-Y-P-E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. So uniform handled out of the timeout. Fredericksburg to serve. They lead it 12-8. Here in set number one, Chutton Lakata here, Mitchell Padgett back at the KMAC Studios. Service off the tape and falls in for an ace. Second ace for Fredericksburg. That one served up by Molly Plenicky. Score now 13 to eight. That was a Fredericksburg timeout. Both coaches have used one timeout. Quick set on, or actually set on the hut left side. Dump shot back to Liberty Hill. Parsons sets it left side, Huppy. To the back row, dug out by Vollmer. Attack left side here, tip shot falls in the middle. And Rose Stewie, her third kill. Fredericksburg up early in the first set. Service to the back row. Parsons, back row return, Nelson. Dug out by Plenicky. Plenicky, back row return. Nice dig by Nelson, the back row. Set left side for Huppy. Finds the mark in the back row. Coffin corner kill. 14-9. Thank you, Mr. MVP. As the libero for Liberty Hill, Mackenzie Wukash to serve. Back row return, Fredericksburg. Dug out by Escamilla. Set for Huppy left side. Oh, and that's in. Huppy back to back kills now. Good call by the linesman. It literally hit the line. Score now 14 to 10. You appreciate good officials, good linesmen. That was a great call. Not because it was Liberty Hill, but he was right there to call it. Wukash back to serve the senior Mackenzie Wukash. Again, email open Chuck C H U C K at KMAXSports.com. Fredericksburg going to be called for a double. The setter Larkin pin. Unforced air. Liberty Hill back within three. Don't forget, both coaches have used one timeout already. Lucas to serve again. Oh, and into the net. First service error for Liberty Hill. Score now 15-11. Checking in to serve is... J.C. Spees, number seven, a junior. Again, Fredericksburg goes right to left. Liberty Hill goes left to right. Thanks to MVP, our QA. Wukash on the serve receive. Huppy swing into the middle and down for the kill. Emily Huppy, her fourth kill. Makes it 15 to 12. Liberty Hill back within three in set number one. And it's Huppy back to serve. Service over. Pass up front, Volmar. Quick set in the middle. Blocked in front. Ashley Nelson. Nelson looks to have hurt herself on that block. Unfortunately, I've got the official stand right in front of me, but she's okay. I couldn't see that, but she kind of looked a little groggy, but she's okay. 15-13. Help you to serve again. Balmar to pass up front. Attack left side on the hut. Tipped by Liberty up front line. Set. Escamilla with the swing. That one dumped on the overpass. Say hello to Lily Wilkins for the kill. Liberty Hill now in system 15 to 14. Down by one. Oh, and this service error. Second for Liberty Hill. Fredericksburg takes a two point lead. But since trailing 10 to 5, it's a nine. Service over. Sorry, I'll get that to you in a minute. Escamilla swing from right side. Passed up front. Kept alive. Tip shot. Dug out. And roll shot sent over by Mia Hernandez. Attack right side. And that's going to be out. Unforced error by Fredericksburg. It's back to a one-point set. At 16-15. 
So it's a 10-6 Liberty will run since trailing 10-5. Back to serve. Emily Allred who checks in for Parsons. Also Van Claveren checking in for Ashley Nelson. Happy to have you here. Panthers Primetime KMAX Sports started in February 16, 2007. Service over. Left side. Vamo problem with server seat. Free ball sent over Liberty Hill. Will cast a pass up front. Allred sets it. Tip shot. Nice dig by Fredericksburg, but it's going to be out. That's going to be Lily Wilkins with the kill, her second. And we are tied at 16. 11 to 6 run for Liberty Hill. Emily Allred, the sophomore, to serve again. On the line. Ooh, wow. Almost called a double. Roll shot sent to Liberty Hill. Hernandez pass up front. Allred, attack right side. And that's going to be a hitting error by Kubish. Fredericksburg maintains the lead at the moment, 17-16. Liberty Hill had a chance to take its first lead. Rose Stewie to serve. Wukash, attack on the slide right side. Wilkins kept alive by Volmar and free ball. Sent over, good defense by Fredericksburg. Set, attack left side and a double called on Allred. Oh, that hurts. Defense by Fredericksburg kept them alive for that one. Service coming. Dug out Hernandez. Set left side. Blocked in front. The 5 12 combo. Their second team block. Fredericksburg goes up 19 16. Liberty Hill takes the timeout. We'll take it as well. Lady Panthers trail by three. Set number one back on the KMAX Sports Fight Media Network. This is the KMAX Sports Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAX Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAX Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAX Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to Chuck at KMAXSports.com or Merle at KMAXSports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAX Sports will gladly work with you and the booster clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. K-Max Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. So Lady Panthers had a chance to take the lead. Hitting air, gave the ball back to Fredericksburg. They've taken advantage. They lead it by 3, 19-16 as the service over to Liberty Hill. Attack right side, Wilkins puts up a roll shot dug out by Fredericksburg. Attack left side. Nice dig by Wukash to save it. Back row return, Hernandez, but into the net. Great dig by Mackenzie Wukash, but hitting air, and Fredericksburg up 2016. Liberty Hills used both of its timeouts at this point. Service over. That one overpass. Dump kept alive. Hernandez sends over the free ball. Fredericksburg. Quick shot and the kill in the middle by Molly Plenicky. Her second kill. And Fredericksburg on the roll right now, 21 16. Service, dug out Hernandez. All red quick set in the middle. Tip shot by Nelson, but it goes wide. Wow. Liberty Hill had some momentum, but Fredericksburg's taking it back. They lead 22-16 in set number one. Liberty Hill needs a big-time rally here as Stewie to serve again. Service, back row, Hernandez. All red set on the slide. Attack right side, Wilkins, and that goes down for a kill. Stopping the bleeding at the moment. Is Liberty Hill, but they need a serious run down by five. 22-17. Wilkins back to serve. Service. Quick set in the middle. Attack right side and the kill for Molly Plenicky.
Makes it 23-17. Checking in to serve, Carly Neb Nebgen, a junior, number three. Liberty Elk trailing by six. Nebgen to the back row. Wukash had problems getting it. Hernandez sends the butt front and free ball sent over to Fredericksburg. They get the attack left side. Nice dig by Wukash in the middle, or in the back row. Attack left side and Nelson finds the floor in the middle. Ashley Nelson, her first kill. Keeps Liberty Hill alive at 23-18. Hernandez checks out. As Claire Kubish sets, checks in. Problem on the server, see? Free ball to Liberty Hill. Got to take advantage of it. Allred sets it up left skin. And Huppy kept alive by Fredericksburg. Good defense. They send over the free ball. Liberty Hill, attempt number two. And now set goes over the net and hits the antenna. Unforced error, and it's set point for Fredericksburg. Checking in, Megan and Merrimund. As Calissa Valmar, the libero for Fredericksburg, to serve. Set point. That one will be an overpass and slammed home by Molly Plenicky. And Fredericksburg wins set one, 25-18. So we'll take this break, be back for set number two. Right after this, you're listening to Lady Panthers Volleyball here on the KMAX Sports Bite Media Network. Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAX Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact... KMAX Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAX Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to chuck at kmaxsports.com or merle at kmaxsports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAX Sports will gladly work with you and the booster clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. KMAX Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. From West Texas all the way to the bio and all points in between. I saw miles and miles of Texas. All the this is the KMAC Sports Network, the bringing your teams to you. At KMAC Sports, we want to make sure you get the whole game. So we'll take a moment here to clean your speakers. Ah. Clean Sonic Delivery. This is K-Mac Sports. Ah, spring. The time of year when a young man's fancy turns to... Play ball! And K-Mac Sports will be there for every game of the 2018 season. From the first pitch to the final out. High school baseball and softball. College baseball and softball. And pro baseball and softball. So, for the most, the most, the most coverage of 2018 baseball and softball, look to the leader, KMAX Sports. KMAXSports.com. So, set one goes to Fredericksburg. As they win in 25 18. Chuck Licata here at Marble Falls High School Gym. MVP, Mitchell Padgett back at the KMAX Studios. Merle Bertrand back there as well, KMAX Sports Director. On the Fredericksburg side, five kills for Molly Plenicky, or four kills for Molly Plenicky, number five. She also had two block assists on the Liberty Hill side. Emily Huppy with four kills. Claire Kubish with two. Also two kills for Lily Wilkins. One block for Ashley Nelson. And service aces for Liberty Hill. Or for uh, Fredericksburg, rather, by Carly Nebgen and Molly Plenicky. Liberty Hill looking a little bit tentative, but it's okay. They've been down one set to none before. It's not a big deal. As we go set number two. Two teams switch side. Liberty Hill going to go right to left. Fredericksburg going to go left to right. 
Happy to have you on the KMAX Sports Vibe Media Network. Email open, Chuck, C-H-U-C-K, at KMACsports.com. Chuck at KMACsports.com. Fredericksburg going left to right will serve to start the second set. Fredericksburg again coming in 17 and 15, finished 5 and 5 in district play. Attack left side, Wilkins and hits it long. So on the hitting air, Liberty Hill trails at 1 nothing. Liberty Hill looking for its first lead of the night tonight. So it goes, got to settle in. Service by Plenike, pass up front, Nelson. Attack left side, and that one falls in. Kinsey Escamilla. For the kill, we're tied at one. Kubish goes back to serve. Nope, I'm sorry, it's Huppy going to serve. Her, Kubish, and Parsons in the back row. Nelson, Wilkins, and I think that's Escamilla in the front row for Liberty Hill. Service over. Back row returned by Plenike. Dug out by Wukash. Nelson swing left side, and that's going to go for kept alive. Good job by the libero Volmar to keep it alive. Liberty on the free ball. Quick set, tip shot. And Wilkins finds the right side, and Liberty Hill finally has a lead. They lead it 2-1 to one in set number two. Good job by Escamilla, or the Wilkins rather, to push it to the right side where there was nobody. Service over by Huppy. Quick set in the middle. Nope. Attack left side. Dug out by Liberty Hill. Oh! And not able to return it. Hitting air. And we're tied at two in set number two. Checking in will be J.C. Spees. S-P-I-E-S. Spees is how it's pronounced. In fact, the whole Fredericksburg roster had to get pronunciations from. As Lukash on the serve receipt. Back row return set to the far side. Dug out by Fredericksburg. They'll get a back row return from Plenicky. Dug out Wukash. Set to the left side. Nelson with the swing for the kill. Ashley Nelson starting to warm up. Liberty Hill now with the lead at 3-2. to two. They will sub in all red for Parsons. Also checking in is Kubish in the front row. So it's those two, Hernandez, Nelson, Wukash, and somebody. Numerically, it's 9-15-7-17-4. And can't see the other one as the service over. Fredericksburg attack left side. Nice hit there by Rose Stewie. That's her fourth kill. Ties the set at three. Liberty Hill, Lady Panthers can get a little distance between themselves and Fredericksburg. I think the momentum shifts big time. But Fredericksburg giving everything they have as Larkin Penn with the serve into the net. Second service error for Fredericksburg. Lady Panthers retake the lead at four to three. Wilkins back to serve. Wilkins, Hernandez, and Allred in the back row. And that's a service ace. First for Liberty Hill. 5-4 Lady Panthers. Service over. 5-3, I'm sorry. Attack left side. And that falls to the ground. Kate Wenzel with the kill. That's her first. Makes it 5-4, as I said before. So now I'll say 6-4. to four. Stewie back to serve. Lucas to pass up front. All red to set left side. Tip shot dug out by Fredericksburg. Pass over left side. Swing dug out by Nelson. All red sets it quick set. Nelson with the roll shot that falls in. Nice adjustment. Ashley Nelson her third kill. And there you go. Just like that it's 6-4. to four. Thanks again, Mitchell Padgett, our QA back at the KMAX Studios. Nelson to serve. To the back row. Ooh, man, that could have been called a double. Back row returns Stewie. And Stewie got a nice swing in the back row. That's her fifth kill. Keats Fredericksburg within one. Liberty Hill in for a battle tonight. 
Checking in to serve is Carly Nebgen. She has one of the Fredericksburg two aces. Service over. They got by Nelson. Quick set. Right side attack. And that one falls in. Claire Kubish with the kill. That's her third. Liberty Hill goes up. Back up by two. Seven to five. And Parsons checks in for Allred. Happy to have you here. If you want to write in, Chuck at KMAXSports.com. Chuck C-H-U-C-K at KMSCSports.com. Service over. And that one's going to be in the net on the return. Point Liberty Hill. Score now 9 to, or 8 to 5 rather. Jump served by Parsons. Passed up front. Set. Hit back in the middle. Block. Oh. But it's a blocking error by Van Clavern. Good block, but it goes out. Makes it now 8 6. Calissa Valmar, the senior libero, back to serve for Fredericksburg. They go left to right. Liberty Hill goes right to left. Service over. Parsons sets it left side. Punched over by Escamilla. Kept alive. Set by Spees. Attack right side. Dug out by Parsons. Swing left side. Blocked in front. The block by Klinicky. It's her first solo block. She's got two block assists. Makes it now 8-7 to seven, Liberty Hill. Valmar to serve again. Pass up front, Nelson. Quick set in the middle. Van Claveren sends to the back row. Dug out by Fredericksburg. They go attack left side. Blocked in front. The 2-4 block combo for Liberty Hill. Van Claveren and Escamilla. Makes it now 9-7, Lady Panthers. Service over. Oh, overpass. Dumped in front. Wilkins, her third kill. Liberty Hill to 10. Leading by three. Good playoff atmosphere here at Marble Falls High School. Service by Wukash. That one's going to be out. Ace for Liberty Hill. Wukash, her first ace. Second ace for the Lady Panthers as a team. Now 11 to 7. Service. Nice serve. Dug out nicely by Fredericksburg. They go attack left side. Tip shot. Dug out by Escamilla. Huppy with the swing. Through the front line. That's five kills now. For Huppy in timeout. Fredericksburg, they trail 12 to 7. Reminder to support our sponsors. You see right in front of your screen. Liberty Civil Construction, Big Daddy LLC, Ortho 360 Inspection, First Choice Inspection Services, Two Brandit, and David A. Slaughter DDS. Also, want to thank Emily, or uh, not Emily, her mom, Christine Huppy, for all the great work she does with Coach Peterson and the Liberty Hill Volleyball Booster Club. This is the KMAX Sports Network. At KMAX Sports, we want to make sure you get the whole game. So, we'll take a moment here to clean your speakers. Ah, clean sonic delivery. This is KMAX Sports. Back here after the Fredericksburg timeout. Liberty Hill goes right to left. They send out Huppy, Wilkins, Escamilla, Parsons, Nelson. As Lucas goes back to serve her, con continue her service. Service over. Off the tape, dug out. Attack right side, tip shot. Dug out by Nelson. Set. Oh, a roll shot by Huppy. Attack left side, Fredericksburg. To the back row, dug out by Wukash. Set left side, Huppy with the swing. Down for the kill. Huppy now matches her number with her sixth kill. Nobody else, big point out of the Fredericksburg timeout, 13-7. And Fredericksburg will try to alter the momentum as they send in a sub. Claire Nevins, a junior, to the front row. Lucas serves it again to the back row. Dug up by Volmar. Back row return and free ball coming. Oh, and it won't go over the net. 
Another unforced error. Lady Panthers with the momentum. They're up 14 to 7. Catch Coach Peterson talking to her kids. Lukash now to serve. Serves it on the line. Nice dig, and that's going to be an ace. Her second ace, and it's all Liberty Hill. Eight straight points. It's now 15 to 7, Lady Panthers. Don't forget, Frederick Spurge already used one of her timeouts. Balmar, the pass on the server receive. Dump shot. That got by Liberty Hill. Wu Cash in free ball to be sent over by Uppy. Sends it to the back row. Set on the left side slide. And that one falls in as Plenicky picks up her fifth kill to break the Liberty Hill streak. Scoring out 15 to 8. And Plenicky back to serve. She has served well for the Battle and Billies. Pass up front, Nelson. Parsons quick set in the middle, and Escamilla gets the kill. Escamilla. Liberty Hill back up by eight, 16 to eight. Boy, a couple points here would be really nice as Huppy to serve. Sends it to the back row. Balmar with the serve receive. Come and swing left side. Blocked in front. Oh, and it's out. Oh, Escamilla had the big block with Wilkins. But it's blocked out. Oh, good effort. Point Fredericksburg makes it 16 to 9. Again, email open. Chuck C-H-U-C-K at KMAC Sports.com. Service coming from J.C. Spees. J J A C I S P I E S. J.C. Spees in Fredericksburg. Hernandez with the receive and Nelson! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new Major Nelson. Ashley Major Nelson makes it 17 9. All red back to serve. All red. Pops it in the middle. Problem on the serve receive. Back row return. Plenicky. Free ball. Hernandez the pass up front. Quick set. And tip shot. Nice left-handed adjustment in the air by Wilkins. That's her fourth kill. Makes it out 18-9. As all red to serve again. To the back row. Oh, flat pass. Kept alive. Swing left side. Tip by Liberty Hill. Wukash and Lady Panthers get the ball over on the free ball. Valmar, back row return coming for Plenicky. Nice dig by Wukash, but that's going to go out. Tell you, Liberty Hill fans re may remember the name J.C. Plenicky. Well, Fredericksburg has one in Molly Plenicky, and she's pretty darn good. 18 to 10, pass up front on the serve receive. Attack. Wilkins for the kill. Number 12 now has five kills. 19 to 10, Lady Panthers. Back to serve is Wilkins. Wilkins, Hernandez, and all red in the back row. Nelson, Van Claveren, and... Who is that? Who is that? Is that Kubish? Yes, Kubish in the front row for Liberty Hill. The down official talking to Fredericksburg about something. It might be a rotation issue. Again, Casey Ridman in her third year at Fredericksburg, or first as the head coach, as Coach Nelson and I mentioned in the pregame. Jason Raymer headed to Kerrville Tyvee two years ago. So actually, I apologize. This is her second year as head coach for Ridman. Wilkins now to serve. Nelson, Van Claveren, and Kubish in the front row as the serve over. Quick set in the middle. And that one blocked in front. Van Claveren with the block. Her first solo, she got a block assist. And it's all Liberty Hill right now, 20 to 9, or 20 to 10 rather. Lady Panthers. Service. Dug out. Quick set right side. And tip shot. Nice job by Stewie. Rose Stewie, keeping Fredericksburg in at 20 to 11. 
And it'll be Rose Stewie back to serve. The junior. Into the net, service error. Only the third for Fredericksburg, but gives Liberty Hill the ball, the serve, and a 21-11 lead. Ashley Nelson back to serve. Nelson, Lukash, and Allred in the back row. Huppy checks in the front row. Pass up front. Back row return coming. Free ball to Liberty Hill. Allred sets it left side and double called on Allred. Makes it 21 to 12. Sub in for Fredericksburg. Morgan Flores. I'm sorry. Carly Nebgen checks in. Morgan Flores is number three for Liberty Hill. <laughs> My apologies. Service over. Nelson. Huppy will set it. Oh, and that's going to go long. Miss hit by Liberty Hill. Makes it 21-13. Lady Panthers. Service coming again. Service over. Oh, and miss played by Liberty Hill for an ace. Nebgen, her second ace. Makes it 21-14. Little rally here by the Battle and Billies. Nebgen, serve to the back row. Nelson, and nobody there to get it. Ace. 21-15. I give it one more point before Gretchen Peterson calls the timeout. Service. Nelson, the pass up front. Set on the slide, and miss hit by Liberty Hill. 21-16. Peterson will call the timeout as we expected. You see the sponsors for Lady Panthers of Volleyball on the left side of your screen, including Liberty Civil Construction, a leading construction company specializing in single-family infrastructure. Locally owned and serviced the greater Austin area. Proud of the Liberty Hill Volleyball and proud supporters of the Lady Panthers. Back after this timeout on the KMX Sports Network. This is the K-Max Sports Network. Socialize with us. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, that dang old internet, man, you just go on there and point and click, 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 it's real easy, man. On Twitter, at KMAX Sports, or catch us on Facebook, search KMAX Sports. Just another way, KMAX Sports is bringing your team to you. Out of the Liberty Hill timeout, Lady Panthers give it up four in a row. They still lead it 21-16. Fredericksburg serve out of the timeout. Carly Neb Nebgen with the serve to the back row. Nelson to pass up front. Set to the left side, Huppy. Ball dug out by Volmar. Roll shot sent to Liberty Hill. Problem on the return, and it's now 21-17. Liberty Hill got crossed up in the back row there on the return. So a little bit of tense drama here for the Lady Panthers. They're getting to serve for the sixth time now. Pass up front. All red. Sets it right side attempt. And that's in. As Claire Kubish ends the Fredericksburg run. Liberty Hill leads it 22-17. And Emma Parsons checks in for All Red back to serve. Kinsey Escamilla checks in the front row for Kubish. Roll, uh, rolling serve. Attack in the middle. Dug out by Kubish. Parsons sets it. Right side attack. And that's Emily Huppy. Hup, 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 Huppy. Her seventh kill. Liberty Hill now two points away from winning set number two. Parsons service over. Roll shot. Dug out. Attack right side. Blocked in front. Kept alive. Sent over as a free ball. Liberty Hill. Escamilla with the swing. And that goes out. Oh, called in. Wow. We'll take that call. It's now 24-17. Set point, Liberty Hill. 
pass up front off the serve receive. That one dug out nicely by Liberty Hill. And that one will go for a kill. Van Clavern. And we are tied to one set apiece as Liberty Hill one set two. 25-17. Back after this, Lady Panthers Volleyball and KMAX Sports. This is the KMAX Sports Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAX Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAX Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAX Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to chuck at kmaxsports.com or merle at kmaxsports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAX Sports will gladly work with you and the booster clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. KMAX Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. We're glad you enjoy the KMAX Sports broadcast. But did you know that you can purchase a copy of this or any KMAX broadcast for personal use? Whether you're making a highlight video or just want to be able to enjoy this game years in the future, send us a note to info at kmaxsports.com. That's I-N-F-O at kmaxsports.com. Let us know which games you're interested in and we'll set it up for a small fee. We can even do some editing for you. And the great thing? Any purchase will send a portion of the proceeds to your school. Enjoy the game now and keep it forever. Purchase any broadcast for personal use. Hit us up. Info at kmaxsports.com. Bringing your teams and your highlights to you. We are KMAX Sports. At KMAX Sports, we want to make sure you get the whole game. So we'll take a moment here to clean your speakers. Ah, clean sonic delivery. This is KMAX Sports. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Look and left, goes into the end zone. Bad snap again, he hits the turf. And And Dunbar scoops it up, Cameron Wilkins has it. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXSports.com or Chuck at KMAXSports.com to find out how. Side, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown! Touchdown! Five! Touchdown! Yes, sir. It's what we do, and nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. Mitchell Patch it back to the KMAX Studios. We're now tied. One set apiece. The wonder of graphics, I guess, huh? Get an email open, Chuck C H U C K at KMAC Sports.com if you'd like to check in. Two teams to switch side. Liberty Hill going to go right to left. Lockhart winning set two of their match. They're tied at one set apiece. KMX Sports with about four or five volleyball broadcasts on tonight. Set number three coming. Liberty Hill going left to right. Mackenzie Wukash will serve to start set three. And Fredericksburg, as Emily Huppy gets the kill. And Lady Panthers go up 1-0 in set number three. Thanks again, MVP, for being our QA. Tip shot blocked in front. Emily, or Kinsey Escamilla. Sorry, got used to saying Emily so much. Escamilla, her first solo block. Lady Panthers up 2-0 in set three. Boy, it's a big momentum here. Lady Liberty Hill can keep this up. Attack left side. Tip shot. Dug out by Parsons. Huppy is blocked in front. Molly Plenicky with a block. She's got two solo blocks and two block assists. That's just down 2-1. to one. 
Molly Plenicky back to serve for Fredericksburg. To the back row, who cares to pass up front? Attack left side, and that is Kinji Escamilla. Picks up her fifth kill. Score down three to one. <laughs> and Emily Huppy back to serve. Quick set, blocked in front. Lily Wilkins. Serve received, the pass up front almost went over. It was put up by the setter, Penn, and Wilkins there to block it. Now four to one. Service off the tape, dug out by Volmar, Libero. Attack left side by Stewie. Nice dig by Rukash. Parsons keeps it alive, and Rukash sends it over to free ball. Attack on the hut, tip shot. And Stewie. Picks up her seventh kill for Fredericksburg. Nice adjustment in midair. Now four to two. Is back to serve, J.C. Spees. That one dug out by Hernandez in the back row. Nelson swing left side, blocked in front. Hernandez keeps it alive. Parsons sets it on the net. And Nelson to the back row, dug out by Volmar. And free ball sent over to Liberty Hill. Parsons sets it on the slide, attack right side. Dug out by the back row. And swing. And Stewie will get the kill. The swing by Stewie. Parsons dug it out, but nobody there on the reception in the back row. It's now four to three. Service. And Liberty Hill. Problem on the server seat, that'll be an ace. And we're tied at four. As Jackie, JC Spees with the ace. Service, pass up front, Hernandez. Set, Nelson with the swing left side into the net. Unforced error in Fredericksburg. On a three point run, they lead it five to four. Actually a four point run, they lead it five to four. In set number three. Service, Hernandez pass up front. Parsons, quick set, tip shot. And finding the corner is Wilkins for her seventh kill. Now tied at five. Checking in Emily Allred. As well as Claire Kubish. Joined on the court by Wukash Hernandez. Nelson. And Wilkins, but that one is a kill for Stewie. That's her ninth kill. Gives Fredericksburg the ball and the 6-5 to five lead. Jump serve coming. Attack right side, and Wilkins tattoos the hardwood in the back row. Wilkins now with eight kills. We're tied at six in set number two. Lily Wilkins. Attack right side, dug out. Attack right side, Kubish. Great set by Allred across the court to the right side where Kubish picks up her fifth kill. Score now seven to six. That one a light laser to the back row, dug out, Fredericksburg. And Stewie with the kill. But I'll tell you what, 13 goes up. She's going to give it a great swing for Fredericksburg. We're tied at seven in set two. Service over. Oh, falls in between two Liberty Hill players for an ace. Fredericksburg retakes the lead at eight to seven. Stewie with the ace. That's the sixth for Fredericksburg. Service. That got by Nelson. Nelson with the swing right side. Finds the tie on the back row. Nelson with five kills. Tied at eight. 
Good set there by Allred. As Kubish hands the ball to Ashley Nelson. It's those two, Allred, Van Clavern, Huppy, and Kubish. And the swing by Molly Plenicky for the kill. That's her sixth. Score down nine to eight. Checking in, Carly Nebgen. Frederiksberg goes right to left. Liberty Hill goes left to right. Service. Dug out by Nelson. Nelson back row return. And kept alive, and that will go out. Unforced error on the return. Now 10 to 8, Fredericksburg. Maybe Panthers need a little bit of run to quell the Fredericksburg crowd and momentum. Nebgin has been a good server. Pops it short, and that will be an ace. Falls in the middle. Nebgin's fourth ace. Makes it a three point lead for Fredericksburg. Service. Pass up front, Nelson. Attack left side, Huppy! Hup, 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 Huppy! Her ninth kill. Brings Liberty Hill back within two at 11 to nine. Parsons checks back in for Allred and Parsons to serve. Parsons with the headband. Service over. Attack right side, roll shot, dug out by Nelson. Parsons sets it left side, hop, 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 Her 10th kill. Gives Liberty Hill 10 points. They trail by one. Fredericksburg sets up, attack right side, and that one by Plenicky. Five and 13 are the hitters Liberty Hill has had issues with on the Fredericksburg side as it's now 12 to 10. As Calissa Valmar, the libero, back to serve. Service over. Pass up front, Parsons sets it left side, punched over by Escamilla. Ball goes high, back row return, tip shot. Dug out by Nelson, goes over the net. Fredericksburg, quick set in the middle, tip shot to the right side, dug out Escamilla. Nelson, back row return. That one passed into the net. Good job by Fredericksburg, get it over. Now the set right side, Escamilla. Joust up the front, kept alive by Liberty Hill. Parsons sets it, back row return, Wukash. Dug out Walmart, good rally here. Attack right side, Fredericksburg tip, dug out by Parsons. Roll shot by Escamilla falls in, and the set by Ashley Nelson on that one. Escamilla, her sixth kill. 12-11. Oh, and service into the net, Lukash. Liberty Hill's third service error, but gives the ball back to Fredericksburg. They're up by two, 13-11. Wow, Medina Valley losing to Alamo Heights 26-24, set one. Service over Liberty Hill, Nelson to pass up front. Attack left side, Wilkins. Dug out by Volmar. Back row return. Dug out by Parsons. Nelson sets it. And attack error by Liberty Hill. 14-11. Service over to Liberty Hill. Set for Escamilla, dug out by Plenicky, dumped over. And Lukash can't handle the return. 15-11, Fredericksburg set number two. Service, off the tape, dug out by Nelson. Quick set, oh, and Huppy into the net. I'm looking for a timeout here, and here it comes. 16-11. Lady Panthers trail in set three. We're tied one set apiece.
Take this time out. Lady Panthers volleyball on the KMAX Sports Fight Media Network. KMAX Sports Network. At Austin Pets Alive, the mission is to promote and provide the resources, education, and programs needed to eliminate the killing of companion animals. That means more happy pets joining more happy families every single day. In fact, Austin Pets Alive has saved more than 25,000 dogs and cats since 2008. And you can help adopt a new family member, help out with a donation, or roll up your sleeves and volunteer. If you have love, time, or money to spare, we all have at least one of those, you're needed. Visit AustinPetsAlive.com to get started. Austin Pets Alive. Helping people help pets. So Liberty in a little bit of trouble here in set number three as they are tied one set apiece, but tail of 15-11 out of the first Liberty Hill timeout. Or 16-11 rather as Nelson on the return. Attack right side by Wilkins. Dug out Fredericksburg. Stewie with the dump shot that's blocked by Wilkins. Wilkins her first solo block. Liberty Hill needing a run. They trail 16-12. Emily Huppy to serve. To the back row. Problem on the serve receive. Free ball to be sent over Lady Panthers. Got to take advantage. Escamilla sets it for Parsons. Sets it left side. Roll shot. And that one kept alive by Fredericksburg. Good defense to the back row. Rukash pass up front. Nelson tip shot, and that is out. Mm. Fredericksburg wanting it a little bit more right now. As J.C. Spees checks in. Service over. Lucash, Parsons. Attack right side, Escamilla, that's out. Wow. Couple big swings that go wide for Liberty Hill. Eighteen to twelve. Service by Spees. Pass up front, overpass. Wow. Better split with the momentum right now. On the overpass. Stewie. And Liberty Hill takes a second timeout. Wow. Trailing 19 to 12. Back after this on the KMAX Sports Vite Media Network. This is the KMAX Sports Network. Socialize with us. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, that dang old internet, man, you just throw it on there and point and click, 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 click. It's real easy, man. On Twitter, at KMAX Sports. Or catch us on Facebook. Search KMAX Sports. Just another way, KMAX Sports is bringing your teams to you. From West Texas all the way to the bio. And all points in between. I saw miles and miles of Texas. All the this is the KMAX Sports Texas. Network. Bringing your... timeout of the third set. Lady Panthers, couple unforced errors has opened up a seven point lead. 19 to 12 the score. Service over by Fredericksburg. And Hernandez can't handle it's an ace, it's 2017. Spies with her second ace. Eight aces now for Fredericksburg. Service over. Help you to pass up front. That's into the net. Kept alive and nice job by Escamilla. Quick set in the middle. Tip shot. Dug out by Nelson. Swing right side. Dug out overpass. Tip shot. Fredericksburg keeps it alive. They send over the free ball. Lucas pass up front. Parson sets it on the slide. And that one will be a kill for Wilkins as the block goes out. Liberty Hill with point. But they need a run. Trailing by seven as Allred checks in for Parsons. And Kubish checks in for Escamilla. Allred to the far corner. Dug out. Set on the slide. Tip shot. Dug out. Roll shot by Liberty Hill. Dug out by Fredericksburg. Stewie 
with the swing that's in. Confidence on the Fredericksburg side. 21-13. Megan Merriman to serve. Pass up front. Parsons sets it. And the hit by Wilkins falls in through the defense. Wilkins her 10th kill. 21-14. Wilkins to serve. Nelson Van Claver and Kubish up front. Bob on the serve receive, swing right side, and that falls in, wow. Down the left sideline, Kate Wenzel for the kill. Her second kill. 22-14. Service coming, over the net, Wukesh. Van Claver with the swing left side, dug out by Stewie. Attack right side. Dug out. Swing left side. And that falls in for Ashley Nelson. Right now, Liberty Hill trading points. They can't do it. They trail at 22-15. Service to the back row. Overpass. Hit dug out by Stewie. Roll shot to Liberty Hill. Dug out by Huppy. Set to Huppy. And Hupp, Hupp, Huppy! with the kill, or 11. Good start, 22-16. Nelson to serve, down the left sideline and serves it out. Oh, God. Fredericksburg two points away from winning set three. Carly Nebgen checks in. Nebgen to the back row. Nelson to pass up front. Attack left side. Huppy. Dug out Volmar. And free ball sent over to Liberty Hill. Got to take advantage. Allred sets it on the slide. Attack right side. And Kubish. Keeps the Lady Panthers alive. 23-17. Kubish out. Allred out. Then Clavern in. No, I'm sorry, Escamilla in, and Parsons in to serve. Jump serve, oh, that's gonna be out. Oh, man, Liberty Hill has had true crucial service errors in the last four serves, and it's now set point for Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg crowd, as you can hear them, pretty amped up, service over. Attack right side, and the kill for Van Clavern. Liberty Hill stays alive, but it's do or die now on this set. And Wukash, one of their better servers, back to serve. You need six in a row. To the back row. Pass up front, sit on the slide, attack right side, goes out. Liberty Hill alive, 24-19. Fredericksburg has two timeouts remaining, they need Hopefully Liberty Hill can make them use both of them. Service over. Stewie against the net. Ball over. Liberty Hill keeps it alive. Roll shot by Wilkins. Here comes Stewie. Back row return. Dug out by Wukash. Towards the stands and that'll do it. Set three goes to Fredericksburg. 25-19. Back for set four, Lady Panthers Volleyball on the KMAX Sports Fight Media Network. Sports Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAX Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAX Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAX Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to Chuck at KMAXSports.com or Merle at KMAXSports.com or contact that Sports Booster Club directly. KMAX Sports will gladly work with you and the Booster Clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. 
we realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. KMAX Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. We're glad you enjoy the KMAX Sports broadcast. But did you know that you can purchase a copy of this or any KMAX broadcast for personal use? Whether you're making a highlight video or just want to be able to enjoy this game years in the future, send us a note to info at kmaxsports.com. That's I-N-F-O at kmaxsports.com. Let us know which games you're interested in and we'll set it up for a small fee. We can even do some editing for you. And the great thing... Any purchase will send a portion of the proceeds to your school. Enjoy the game now and keep it forever. Purchase any broadcast for personal use. Hit us up. Info at kmaxsports.com. Bringing your teams and your highlights to you. We are KMAX Sports. At KMAX Sports, we want to make sure you get the whole game. So we'll take a moment here to clean your speakers. Ah. Clean Sonic Delivery. This is KMAX Sports. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Looking left, throws into the end zone. Bad snap again. He hits the turf. And DeBoss gives it up. Cameron Wilkins has it. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXSports.com or Chuck at KMAXSports.com to find out how. Side, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown. Touchdown. Five. Touchdown. Yes, sir. It's what we do. And nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. So as Merle Bertrand said in the KMAX Sports Conference Room, Liberty Hill in a dogfight, trailing two sets to one. Lost the first set 25-18, won the second set 25-17, lost the third set 25-19. Chet Licata back here with our good friend, Mr. Oops, wrong one there. There we go. Mr. Mitchell Paget back to KMAX Studio as we get ready for set number four. Liberty Hill trials it two sets to one. Liberty Hill, Emily Huppy with 11 kills, 10 for Wilkins, 6 each for Escamilla and Kubish. But Liberty Hill has been aced 8 times. They've been blocked 4 times. Liberty Hill going right to left. Fredericksburg goes left to right in set number 4. Fredericksburg will serve first and Molly Plenicky to serve for, Liberty, or for Fredericksburg. By district playoffs, round one. Service over by Plenicky. Cougars to pass up front. Parsons sets it. Swing left side by Wilkins. Dug out by Volmar. Plenicky back row return. Nelson sets it right side for Escamilla down the line for the kill. Kinsey Escamilla. May Panthers at one nothing in set number four. Liberty Hill needs to win this set to force a fifth and deciding set. Up, 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 to serve to the back row. Oh, and wow, how'd they call, not call a double on that one? Ball goes over the tape. Liberty Hill. Escamilla! Location, location, location in the back row. They're up 2 nothing. Happy to serve again. Service. Oh, and that goes out. Sixth service error for Liberty Hill on the night. They lead it, though, 2-1. to one. Service coming for Jackie Spees, who checks in. Service. Happy to pass up front. Quick set, and Wilkins dug out by Spees. Balmar sets it. Tip shot dug out by Escamilla. Parsons sets it left side. Nelson, ball hit off the front line. Back row return coming. Plenicky dug out by Huppy. Quick set in the middle. Tip shot kept alive. Plenicky with a roll shot dug out Nelson. Set on the slide. Escamilla and that goes out. Escamilla with the kill. Escamilla the kill. Point to Liberty Hill. Three to one. 
And Escamilla to serve. Pass up front, quick set. And net violation on Fredericksburg. Both teams at the net, that pass is a bad one for Fredericksburg. Everybody up four to one, need to take advantage of the momentum here. Escamilla, service, back row. Back row return, Plenicky. And that goes out. 5-1 on the unforced error. Wow, and timeout, Fredericksburg. Holy cow. What a timeout here. Goodness gracious. Good chance to remind you about the Liberty Hill volleyball sponsor. We have to you patronize them. Liberty Civil Construction, David Slaughter, DDS, to brand it. First Choice Inspection Services, Ortho 360, and Big Daddy LLC. So Liberty Hill on a couple unforced errors out to a 5-1 lead. Huppy, Wukash, Escamilla in the back row. Nelson, Parsons, and Wilkins in the front row on this floor for the Lady Panthers. Service over. Dump shot, and Nelson. Ashley Nelson, her second solo block. Liberty Hill, up six to one. That's what they need. Now keep it going. Escamilla, Beaumont to pass up front. Set left side, tip shot. Good location kill for Stewie. She's now got 15. Makes it now six to two. Thanks to MVP, Mitchell Padgett, thank you, sir. Service over to Liberty Hill. Nelson, swing right side, dug out by Stewie. Attack right side, blocked by Liberty Hill, and wow, net violation called on Liberty Hill. Now six to three, Liberty Hill needs the ball back. Larkin Penn, a senior back to serve and serves it into the net. That'll that'll do. The Panthers up seven to three. MVP. Service by Wilkins to the back row. Dug up by Volmar. Attack right side. And cross court kill. Well, I'll tell you what. The MVP for Fredericksburg tonight. Definitely Rose Stewie. Makes it now seven to four. And Stewie back to serve. Service, Mia Hernandez on the serve receive. Quick set, Nelson blocked up front. The block there by Kate Wenzel. Her first solo block makes it seven to five. Stewie to serve again. They got Wukash. Parsons sets it. Right side shot by Claver. Attack left side. Wenzel. And set on the antenna. Unforced error. Gives Liberty Hill the point. They lead it now 8 to 5. Service by Nelson. Oh, and falls in between two players. Ashley Nelson, the service ace. Her first. Makes it now 9 to 5. Need a run. Need a run, Lady Panthers. That one off the tape. Dug out. Back row return, Stewie. And that falls in. Just keep setting number 13 if you're Fredericksburg. Even in the back row, makes it 9 to 6. Liberty Hill doesn't an have an answer. Is it all right? Carly Nebgen back to serve. N E B G E N Nebgen. Service over. Nelson to pass up front. That goes nowhere. Nebgen, her fifth ace. Makes it 9-7. to seven. Service. And Liberty Hill can't answer it again. Sixth ace by Nebgen. Makes it 9-8 to eight now. 
Nelson, Lukash, and Hernandez back row. Parsons, Van Clavern, and Huppy in the front row for Liberty Hill. Service. Nelson gets it. Parsons. Free ball sent over by Nelson. Quick pass. On the slide, Plenicky dug out by Hernandez. Set left side, Huppy. Nice dig by Volmar. Tip shot, and that goes out. Hitting air, gives Liberty Hill the point. The Panthers at 10, 10 to eight. Emma Parsons checks in. She will serve. That one, an overpass to the back row of Liberty Hill. Nelson, back row return, tipped by the front line. Kept alive by the Badland Billies. That one into the net, kept alive. Free ball sent over to Fredericksburg. Attack left side. And that one through the block for Kate Wenzel. On the left side. Fredericksburg keeping it close at 10 to nine. Calissa Valmar to serve, to the back row. Quick set in the middle. This one's gonna be an overpass. Huppy dumps it over. Hup, hup, huppy. With the kill. Open up a little space there, 11 to nine. Lukash back to serve. Lukash Nelson, Parsons front, back row. Oh, Stewie, back row return. Dug out by Parsons. And Huppy on the miss hit on the return. Fredericksburg staying within one and 11 10. Trading points, which is okay for Liberty Hill right now, as Molly Plenicky back to serve in the back row. Overpass. Kept alive by Liberty Hill. Roll shot. Dug out by Plenicky. Stewie back row return. Oh, man, that goes in. And we're tied at 11. Play it back to serve. Service into the net. Fifth service error for the Battling Billies. Liberty Hill retakes the lead. Now you need a run. You need a five, six point run. As Emily Hup, Hup, Huppy to serve. Service over, off the tape and down. That's one. Huppy her first ace. That's now five for Liberty Hill. Four of those in the last two sets. Service over. And Stewie. Cranks up another kill. That is her 19th. Liberty Hill up by one, 13 to 12. Service to the Lady Panthers, dug out by Escamilla. Quick set, tip shot. Dug out, kept alive, and that one falls in. Wow. Number 13 is the golden girl right now for Fredericksburg as she ties it at 13 all. JC Spees. Liberty Hill on the return. Nelson swing left side. That one gets over. Liberty Hill sets up the offense. Escamilla from the right side into the coffin corner. 10 kills now for Escamilla. And it's Escamilla back to serve. Kinsey, the sophomore, sends it to the back row, off the hands, kept alive, free ball. Sent over to Liberty Hill. Pass up front, set left side, dug out by Plenicky. Tip shot, dug out by Fredericksburg. And that one goes out. Hitting air, Liberty Hill point. 15-13, Lady Panthers. What a great match for the fans here tonight. And for MVP back to KMAX Studios, I know Mitchell's enjoying this. 
Escamilla to serve again. Dug out. Roll shot. That is now 21 kills for Stewie. Makes it 15 to 14. Service coming. Huppy, pass up front. Quick set. Nelson, tip shot. Dug out. Attack left side, and that's another kill. For Stewie. Ties it at 15-all. Service over. Hernandez. Wilkins, oh, and her cross shot, cross court shot goes wide. And Fredericksburg takes the lead, 16 to 15. Service over. Up to the pass up front, quick set. Wilkins to the back row, saved. And then Nelson with the dump on the overkill. Tied at 16, so it's a it's a battle of nines. Wilkins, dug out by Volmar. Free ball sent over to Liberty Hill, got to take advantage. Parsons sets it left side, Nelson the swing. That one mishandled, and that'll be a kill, Ashley Nelson. she got eight kills. More importantly, gives Liberty Hill the lead at 17 to 16. Wilkins to serve again. That one, oh, into the net. You got to get it over. Can't have service errors here. We're tied at 17. So the battle to eight now. And Stewie to serve. Liberty Hill. Van Claveren. Dug out by Wenzel. Wenzel shot left side down for the kill. Eighteen seventeen, Fredericksburg. Liberty Hill and do or die situation here. Service over. Parsons sets it left side kill for Van Clavern. Ties it at eighteen. Big kill for number four. That's her fifth. And it'd be the uh, junior Ashley Nelson to serve. Tied at 18, that goes out. Oh, man. Liberty Hill, service errors killing him in the clutch. You can't do that. 19-18 the score. Service coming, and boy, here's Nebgen. Service, Nelson. Overpass, blocked in front, kept alive, Liberty Hill. Oh, no, they call a lift on the Lady Panthers. Buttersburg now at 20-18. to 18. Liberty Hill can't mess around anymore. Timeout, Lady Panthers. And you can hear this one. Buttersburg side, pretty wild here. Lady Panthers need to outscore Fredericksburg to 25 to keep this set match alive. They trail two sets to one. Liberty Hill led by 12 kills by Huppy. 10 each now for Escamilla and Wilkins. Six for Kubish. Eight for Nelson. But Liberty Hill with eight service errors, and they have had service errors in the clutch situations in the last two sets. So the season on the line for the Lady Panthers as they come out of their second time out. Chet Licata here, Mitchell Padgett back in the KMAC Studios. Service over. Pass up front. Dump shot. Kept alive. Liberty Hill on offense. Nelson back row return. Blocked in front. Kept alive. 
by Van Clavern. The kill! How about Aaron Parsons? The freshman stepping up. 2019. Big kill. Parsons back to serve. Escamilla, Huppy, and Kubish the front line. Nelson, Wukash, and Parsons the back line. Pass up front. Dump shot kept alive by Nelson. Huppy sends over the free ball. This one set to the left side. Wenzel dug out by Parsons. Nelson sets it. Escamilla, tip shot. Block kept alive on the Fredericksburg side. Wenzel, roll shot. Dug out by Huppy. Set on the slot. Escamilla, right side swing. Dug out by Nevgin. And that one, nice dig by Wukash. Quick set, Van Clavern. Block, kept alive, Liberty Hill. Huppy, block. And the block by Plenicky. Gives Fredericks a point, 21-19. Melissa Ballmer sends it over. Parsons sets it left side. Escamilla blocked in front. Oh, my. The 5A block combo. 22-19. Alyssa Volmar. And now Peterson used her second time out. 22-19. Back after this, Lady Panthers Volleyball on the KMAX Sports Bite Media Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAC Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAC Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAC Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to Chuck at KMACSports.com or Merle at KMACSports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAC Sports will gladly work with you and the booster clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that... 22-19, service out of the timeout. Liberty Hill in dire situation. Escamilla dug out by Volmar. Free ball sent over to Liberty Hill. Escamilla, Parsons sets it. Escamilla swing right side. Dug out. Free ball sent over. Escamilla with the overpass dug out. Liberty Hill. Nelson back row return, falls in. Liberty Hill stays alive. Twenty two twenty. Lucas, Liberty Hills, better server, back to serve. Off the tape, dug out, pass up front. Plenicky, swing left side. Lucas with the swing, and that's going to fall. 23-20. Plenicky, her eighth kill. Service coming. Lucas pass the front, set on the slide, swing by Huppy, falls in. Hup, 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 yeah. Keeping Liberty alive, and it'd be Huppy to serve. Huppy, Lucas, Parsons, Nelson, Wilkins, and Eskami on the floor. 23-21 to the back row. Bob on the server, see. Roll shot, Nelson, Parsons, Nelson back left side. Blocked in front, Nelson keeps it alive. Nelson, cross court finds the middle. And that's gonna be a timeout right there. By Fredericksburg, Liberty Hill within one at 23-22. Have the momentum at the moment. Back after this on the KMX Sports Fight Media Network. This is the KMX Sports Network. Bite Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vipe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vipe, B-Y-P-E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vipe magazine today. Get in the game with Vipe Media. At KMAX Sports, we want to make sure you get the whole game. So we'll take a moment here to clean your speakers. 
clean sonic delivery. This is K-Max Sports. There we go. Out of the timeout. Service over to Fredericksburg. Set left side. Stewie. Good job by Liberty. He'll block to get, get the ball alive. Nelson. And that one kept alive. Omar. Stewie. Passed up by Rukash. Escamilla, the tip shot, dug out. Set the Stewie left side. Blocked in front. Escamilla and Wilkins. And we're tied at 23. Happy to serve. Ballmar to pass up front. Stewie back row return. Pass up front, and that one off the net. Unforced error, and set and match point now for Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg fans on their feet. JC speeds the serve. Spees to the back row. Huppy. Rukash. Wilkins sends over the free ball. Stewie. Down the line, it's out. We're tied at 24. We're going to overtime in set four. Escamilla to serve. Escamilla, Huppy. Wilkash in the back row. Nelson, Parsons, and Kubish in the front row. Tied at 24. Service over. Volmar. Stewie again. Dug out. Overpass dumped by Stewie. 25-24. Mark and Penn to serve. Escamilla. Carson sets it. Wilkins dug out. Overpass. And that falls in. The kill up front. by Wenzel, and Liberty Hill's season is over. 26-24. We'll be back for the post game right after this. Lady Panthers Volleyball on the KMAX Sports Fight Media Network. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAX Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. In fact, KMAX Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAX Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to chuck at kmaxsports.com or merle at kmaxsports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAX Sports will gladly work with you and the booster clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team's games too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. KMAX Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. We're glad you enjoy the KMAX Sports broadcast. But did you know that you can purchase a copy of this or any KMAX broadcast for personal use? Whether you're making a highlight video or just want to be able to enjoy this game years in the future, send us a note to info at kmaxsports.com. That's I-N-F-O at kmaxsports.com. Let us know which games you're interested in and we'll set it up for a small fee. We can even do some editing for you. And the great thing? Any purchase will send a portion of the proceeds to your school. Enjoy the game now and keep it forever. Purchase any broadcast for personal use. Hit us up. Info at kmaxsports.com. Bringing your teams and your highlights to you. We are KMAX Sports. At KMAX Sports, we want to make sure you get the whole game. So we'll take a moment here to clean your speakers. Clean Sonic Delivery. This is KMAX Sports. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Looking left, throws into the end zone. That snap again, he hits the turf. And Dick Paul scoops it up, Cameron Wilkins has it. In the corner of the end zone. 10, 5, touchdown. Let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXSports.com or Chuck at KMAXSports.com to find out how. Side, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown. Touchdown. Five. Touchdown. Yes, sir. It's what we do. And nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports.
At Austin Pets Alive, the mission is to promote and provide the resources, education, and programs needed to eliminate the killing of companion animals. That means more happy pets joining more happy families every single day. In fact, Austin Pets Alive has saved more than 25,000 dogs and cats since 2008. And you can help adopt a new family member, help out with a donation, or roll up your sleeves and volunteer. If you have love, time, or money to spare, we all have at least one of those, you're needed. Visit AustinPetsAlive.com to get started. Austin Pets Alive. Helping people help pets. Well, hats off to Fredericksburg. They win in four sets. Been winning that fourth and final set, 26-24. Tell the kind of back here, and I don't think we're going to get post game for Liberty Hill. We'll try to post something on social media. want to thank uh, Mitchell Padgett, our QA tonight. Thank Merle Bertrand, of course. Uh, Christina Weber, Suna Benkat, Tim Cox, Connor Collier, everybody at Connectel, uh, the Vibe Media folks. I want to thank Jace Andrews, who did a tremendous job stepping in to call Liberty Hill Volleyball this season as well. Great job, Jace. Appreciate everything. Liberty Hill losing in four sets tonight. Lady Panthers finish the season 29-16. and 16. This will be a tough one, but, you know, Liberty Hill will come back next year, and there will be motivation for sure. So for everybody at KMAX Sports, I'm Chuck Licata. We sign out tonight here at Marble Falls High School. Once again, Liberty Hill season ends at 29-16. and 16. The Lady Panthers win their seventh consecutive district championship. Thank Christine Huppy, Gretchen Peterson, the entire Liberty Hill volleyball program as well for the help this season. For everybody at KMAX Sports, I'm Chuck Licata. We say goodnight, bid you adieu from Marble Falls High School in Marble Falls, Texas. <laughs>